Hello everyone, this is Mr. Informal back with another Dragon Ball Super content video. If you watch Dragon Ball Super episode 83, our Kaioshin has given us an important information that we should listen. Basically, he says that there are now 28 living mortals left in our universe or universe 7. Go watch my Dragon Ball Super 83 episode review. I will put a link on this video and down below in the description. So what does that tell us? That means we, there's only 28 could be planets or could be people like us living in Universe 7. So basically the rest are all gone even though Universe 7 universe is so big, it's so vast. And so what do I think will happen here? Well. For one, certainly Beerus, he is the god of destruction, basically he is the only god of destruction that we know so far that will just kill a planet for some odd reason or whatever reason it could be. Number two, Frieza. As you know, you either work with him or you work against him. That's number two. Number three. We have the Saiyans. As you know, Frieza used the Saiyans to send to multiple planets to collect death, collect money, could be collect resources, or just kill them all. And also the Saiyans also send their kids to the planet to destroy the planet. And number five could be Majin Buu. Majin Buu is basically is controlled by Babidi. He goes to a planet with a higher power level and collect that power to release Majin Buu and basically destroy that particular solar system or that planet. So those are the five reasons I think that Universe 7 has such a low average level compared to the other universes. You have to understand this is not hard. This is really simple. For those who is making this answer complicated, it's not complicated. It's easy, okay? We have facts, we have history, we have seen episodes where Vegeta kills a planet, Napa kills uh destroys a planet, even Radha destroys a planet, Frieza destroying planet Vegeta. We see Beerus destroying multiple planets and we have Majin Buu based on Babidi's description and also history killing people or killing mortals and killing planets what else there could be what else how else this can be complicated you can't you cannot you cannot quantify it but the fact is the evidence is strongly there to support those five things I just described and we do we have no one to blame universe 7 but ourselves if, if you really want to blame somebody it could be beerus because beerus let planet vegeta or actually he gave permission to frieza to destroy planet vegeta based on dragon ball super not only that the Kaishin also is not doing anything with Majin Buu even, even though he knew Majin Buu was a threat even before he came to Earth. And obviously there's the Saiyans and we all know about their history and their killings and their um, planet destroying personalities. And they also steal planets too. And also there's androids too and even our planet earth people killing each other i mean what else could could there be right so that is basically my take on why universe 7 had 28 mortars left and such a low ranking level compared to universe 7 those five things in any case this is mr informal giving you another Dragon Ball Super content that's original and unique. In any case, I will see you in another video content. I'm signing out.